going. We were like you, we were together in worldly life. قالوا بلى. They said, of course you were with us, but ولكنكم فتنتم أنفسكم But you fooled yourself. فتنتم أنفسكم وتربستم You only lived the time. You only uh, you all only uh, passed that time without producing good actions, without using your faculties. You only lived in that life. وتربستم وغرتكم الأماني and you believed Allah will forgive me. Everything will be better in hereafter. Let me focus on this dunya right now. The hereafter, the religion, then everything will be good. You hoped to be good, but you didn't realize. You only hope if there, if there will be something, I hope it will be good for me. It's not enough. Because the kuffar say the same. They said, if there will be a resurrection, the Creator will give me much more than you. Because He has given me in this, in this dunya much more than you. It shows you, it indicates that He will give. If there will be, you cannot be like them. We should be sure about the truth. And to be sure about to be sure about the truth, we should realize them. We should make research. We should make research about the signs, the signs that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put in this life. We should go after the truth, look for them. And if we do, if we try for the truth, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will open the way. If you put your effort and Allah show you to Allah, show your effort to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He will see that you are sincere and you are looking for the truth. He says, Indeed, we will show them our way. We will show them the path to come to us, to reach to us, to us, to meet with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He expect you and you expect him. Radiallahu anhum wa radwan. When you die, the believer when he dies, he will find the, his creator. He uh, creator expecting him and he expect his creator to reach and meet with each other, and to see him. This is the way of the truth. Allah is the one who is behind everything. He is al haq He is the truth. Nothing can be exist without him. So he is Al-Haq. Those who, who looks for the truth, the truth which depends on this life and the universe and everything, they will find the Creator. He is Al-Haq. And those who make research sincerely, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, show them his way. There is no doubt in it. So if, we, if you are a seer, then no way. You will be, after a moment, you will be a believer. No way. But if you are a denier, after you see, you do not acknowledge. This is the way of kuffar. Then you, you will be a disbeliever. And you should keep being, deny, you should keep denying in order to be, remain a disbeliever. If you remain denying, then no way, you should be a believer. So to keep yourself as a disbeliever, you should put your effort till your life against the signs of the Creator. They are not different, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best the difference between them. So we should uh, use our time and our abilities and the favors blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon us in right manner in good manner and we should know that the one who gave us that abilities that faculties and that wealth and that time and that life he knows better which by which intention through which intention we do them and 
we spend them and we use them so he will reward if we are truthful and we, if we are good and he will punish if we misuse them and if we deny uh, the favors of Allah and if we deny the Creator himself at the end of the ayah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Qaleelan ma tadakkaroon yet most of the people remembers little little do you remember Qaleelan ma tadakkaroon you do not remember you do not want to like to consider about the truth and try to remember the truth this word we have talked about it in the previous lecture and we said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says right now you should you do not know anything Allah akhrajakum min butuni ummahatikum la ta'lamuna shay'a you do not know anything but whenever you try to learn you remember because beforehand you have learned the truth you have learned that you have learned your creator Allah Azza wa asked you when he emerged his offspring of Adam alayhi and he asked them Alastu bi rabbikum and made them witness against themselves am I not your creator am I not your Lord they said Bala indeed you are so we have already learned the truth Allah Azza wa Jal taught our father Adam all the names Adam al -asma kullaha. so we may inherited that knowledge from him so when right now we do not know anything but when we make ilm, when we make research when we learn something as if we remember that thing at that moment وَمَا يَسْتَوِي الْآمَى وَالْبَصِيرُ وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِنُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ وَلَا الْمُسِيءِ قَلِيلًا مَا تَتَذَكَّرُونَ Allah Azza wa Jal blame us that we do not uh, remember and that we do not consider enough we do not consider sufficiently little do you remember قَلِيلًا مَا تَتَذَكَّرُونَ we do many things and we put many time many effort for dunya and for many things in this life even when we buy something we put many effort we make research on TV and on internet and on newspapers and we look which side sells uh, in best manner many many effort for small gain but Allah Azza wa Jal says you do not consider you do not reflect upon your life upon the science of your creator in this life sufficiently why look at this ayah and consider about it your eyes is very important blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you should use them right you should look at the sky right you should look at the creation of your creator right you should understand them you should take draw the lesson from them right no one in this life can say no you should use them because the one who gave you that eyes wants to say to you that you should use them you cannot misuse them you cannot cancel them in the sama wal basar wal fuada kullu ilayki kana anu mas'ula when we understand this actually when we look at the mirror at that moment we understand without the revelation we can understand Allah gave the one who created us gave us this eyes to see gave us this to smell gave us the ears to hear to listen and the mouth to speak we can understand them the one who created us taught them uh, planned them all it's 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 manifest upon our, our face so we should use them it's understandable 
Allah Azza wa Jal says, if you do not use them, there will be difference between you and between the one who used them. Because I will ask you, why didn't you use? Even though you could understand, you have a brain, and you could understand, and you did understand that you should use them. You cannot live this life without using your faculties, without looking for the truth about your life, and without asking yourself, what's the meaning of this life? And what can I achieve? through this life. اقول قولي هذا واستغفر الله العظيم لي ولكم ولسائر المؤمنين. ربنا لا تؤاخذنا ان نسينا او اخطانا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا اسرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقه لنا به واعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا انت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته